Hi folks, this is Ben here with Pierre Paul Driving School. Today we're gonna um, we're gonna cover here a L um, transmission stick. How do you shift um, this transmission here? Because we've done one with one of our other car, we have to push to the right and um, bring it down from there. Carry the S line up transmission, but this one carry the L line up, right? Where you don't have to push neither to the left, neither to the right. Okay, as you end the car, very nice and easy. All you have to do in order for you to move this transmission stick here to shift to gear first of all your foot have to be on the brake let me show you right here you see my foot is on the brake if your foot isn't in the brake all right I'm gonna show you here my foot is not in the brake okay try to shift it here okay I'm gonna try to shift it here you uh, try to shift it here you see it's not moving right now you have to make sure that your foot is on the brake first once your foot is on the brake now let me do it together here you see let me put it i can do it here together as much as i can see my foot is on the brake now i shift to drive it release the transmission all right so good now first of all before we do that let me explain all this um component here right we got the p the p this is what we're doing right now the car is in to park once you park in your car that's where you're gonna leave it on it's for p all right we got r R is for reverse, is when you're going and return, when you're going back, all right? That's where you put it. N is for neutral, neutral. And the event that you ever have any problem with the car, let's say your car break down or somebody giving you a lift, like lifting the car for you, get your car towed, you wanna put it into N where it releases the transmission, where it releases the transmission, anybody can push you around with no issue, right? The D, as you and I know, the D is for drive. That's when you're going forward, right? The D is for drive. And two is for the second speed. When most likely we use the second speed is when, let's say, you're going uphill, okay? And the car car is still on a speed where it's not changing. You put it to a specific gear. You put it on the two to help you go with no issue. The L is for the last speed, for the speed one, Okay, number one, it also can be using when you're going up the hill, all right? Now, what often problem we've seen when people doing the road test with this type of shifting into gear. Most of the time, I'm gonna show you, the student have the key at the car turn off, okay? If the car turn off and you shift to gear, and you shift to gear, if it's to drive, then you try to start the car, let me try it here. You see, the car will not start. The car will not start. You cannot have the car into drive, then try to start it. The car will not start. Why am I saying this? I'm saying this from experience. I've been taking students to the road test, fear to control and bring the car into gear and then try to start the car. The car will not start. You see, the car's into park now. In order to start the car, in order to start the car, it has to be into park. Let's see if I start it now. You see, one key then he goes and stop right very important and the second thing that i've seen students doing with this gear also try to shift this car here okay try to shift this car here okay try to shift this car here let's see without hitting this button here if you do not push this end okay this car will not move let's try it together See how hard I'm pushing here? If you did not push this end, the car will not move. It is imperative in order for you to shift gear, you have to make sure that you push and push and hold, okay, the, um, the, the transmission and release it then to shift gear. Also, what I have seen, students having trouble he, here when they're doing the road test. When fear took control, they just take the car all the way up to two. You see it? You cannot do that. The examiner will fail you the test for poor gear selection. Why is that? If I'm driving the car and selecting the second gear, the car will never change. It will stay in gear as you driving, as you accelerating more, it's gonna keep going louder because this transmission will not shift to a different speed. You do not wanna do that. No, you don't wanna put it to L. You wanna, you wanna start by putting it on D, which stands for drive. R 
is for reverse when your car going into return. Why am I covering this? I've seen it in numerous, numerous, numerous occasion where students making those mistakes at their work test. I understand it's a test, you get nervous, but if you've done lesson correctly, all right, and you remember, these are the vital key that to help you proceed and a good start with your work test, try your best to be on top of them as much as you can. Also, what I've seen students do, if you have not yet subscribed to Pierre Paul's Driving Channel, you need to do so because you can show this content to families and friends that may benefit from that. So each time we drive a, a video, you will be the first one to be notified. If you live in the New York area and you do need some help with your driving endeavor, anything driving related, check our website, pierrepaldriving.com. We can definitely help you with any driving issue that you have all right until then you guys keep practicing this ben here with pierre paul driving school covering with you today how to shift into gear the um the l stick gear transmission on your road test take care now bye bye